Hello you all, welcome back to Journey with Shara on this lovely weekend. I come to you today with a fun haul, y'all. Now we have new Dash Waffle Makers. I love the Dash Waffle Makers. I collect them. I am collecting them for future grandkids, but I also collect them because I think they're fun just to have different shapes of waffles. But then also, you may not want a real big waffle all the time. You want a miniature waffle, which is also portion control. So I love that for that um, fact as well. All right, so let's get started. We have the new Mini Star Waffle Maker. It is absolutely adorable. And we have the new Shamrock. You guys, I could not believe when I saw the Shamrock. Too cute, love it. And then also we have here the beautiful honeycomb. I just thought it was so cute. Now I think it'd be cute if they come out with a B shape, but this is perfect. I think the honeycomb is awesome and we're gonna see how it is because I love the little holes, those little crevices can catch butter and syrup. Don't we all love that? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead on and these are clean. Let me show you what they look like. So this is the blue one, the star. And this is what the iron looks like. Isn't that pretty? And then this one is the shamrock, okay? And that is what the shamrock iron looks like. Cannot wait to see what that's gonna come out to look like. And then we have here the beautiful yellow. So happy they came out with a yellow one because yellow is one of my favorite colors. And I love the fact that it's yellow, of course, black. It represents a bee, okay? And then this one has that honeycomb and it's gonna give that nice indent on the waffle, okay? And let me just show you what each box looks like just in case you wanna know the size. So it's four inch cooking surface, it's nonstick, and it's 350 watt on each iron, okay? So we're gonna go ahead on and turn this around so you can see that's what the front of it looks like. All right, and that's the beautiful um, honeycomb. Right, so cute. And it's even got a little bee. Look at the little honey bee on there. So cute that they include the bee. Okay, so then now we're gonna grab this one. It has the same surface, non-stick, 354 inch surface, non-stick. And that is the shamrock. I'm gonna turn it around so that you all can see that is what we're going to um, attempt to do today. Okay, hopefully all goes well. All right, and I love that it's got that beautiful green, that forest green kind of look. And then we have here the mini star. Okay, up close, and then we're gonna turn it around, and that is what the mini star waffle looks like, all right? Each one usually includes, and they usually have it with all the other waffle makers I have, is where they tell you the amount you use in order to have a perfect star or shape, okay? So we're gonna try to use this for every single one, 1 1.5 uh, tablespoons of batter for perfect star shape, okay? Hopefully the star shape is different, so we'll see what happens, you guys. But they did not include the uh, shape, shamrock shape, nor the honeycomb shape. I wish they would have. That would have been really nice, Dash. You gotta put these little things in there for all of them, you guys. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead on and put the pancake mix in here. I like the fact that this is big enough and just enough of waffles we wanna make, and it also has a pour spout that will be easily um, to um, help with pouring the waffle mix inside of the um, beautiful waffle, waffle maker, okay? Okay, and the waffle mix that we're going to be using is the Aunt Jemima. Yes, it does not say that anymore we found this box and um, after we're using it we're gonna put it in plastic and just keep it because this is gonna be memorabilia um, because she's gone her name is gone Aunt Jemima so we left that we kept that but anyway so we're gonna be using the buttermilk complete just add water honey keep it simple and we're going to use this as the waffle mix okay another thing what we're gonna be using is my new melamine um, beautiful plate that I got it's by shabby chic to put the waffles on and it's by shabby chic and look at the beautiful gold y'all look how the gold glistens you see that absolutely love these so I got a few of these plates pretty for spring and summer and they're pretty big um, it's 100% melamine and I don't know what size it is but I got it for $4.99 and we're going to clean it and this is what we're going to be putting the waffles on today just to keep it in the floral theme but this is the little cute cup that matches the plate isn't that beautiful so you guys see how that matches beautiful right so I believe she needs to sit down and eat something lovely out of something I always say treat yourself these were $3.99 and I always say treat yourself to something lovely don't just eat out of just plain white when you eat out of pretty things it just makes you feel better all right so we're gonna go ahead on and get this started and you guys stay tuned I gotta clean this up you guys stay tuned all right you also we're getting ready this is the mix you can do whatever the level of um, um, thickness you want so we're gonna see how this does first and we're going to get started so stay tuned 
All right, I'm gonna do them one at a time because as soon as you plug them in, you put, you put it in, they come on. So we wanna make sure this one's getting hot already. So you can use spray, I don't have spray today. So what I'm gonna go ahead on and use is our beautiful uh, Kerrygold butter here. We love our Kerrygold. We're gonna go ahead on and just get all in those crevices. The spray is much more better, but like I said, we don't have it today. So we're just gonna go ahead on and use the butter, y'all. Okay, make sure we're getting all those crevices. Okay, and so now what we're going to do, we're going to get one tablespoon. Okay, one tablespoon. I think I'm gonna do two tablespoons in this one because this is not the star. Okay, this is the maybe three tablespoons. <laughs> all right, y'all. So we wanna make sure all of this gets in the crevices. I'm gonna put maybe three and a half little tablespoons because this is thin. So it's really, it goes by what you want, okay? So we wanna make sure all this gets filled in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead on and put this down. That light is on and it is ready to go. We are so excited. I love these little waffle makers. They are so much fun to do with the family, to do with your grandkids, your teenagers. It's even fun if they're having like a slumber party and your teens want to do different ones. You can have it all set up, out and each kid can like decide on which one they want and just make a bunch of waffles. They're even cute for desserts. You can do like a sweet, um, um, a sweet mix like maybe add some sugar, a little bit sweet mix, and then you can do um, strawberry shortcake with some blueberries and some strawberries. I mean, you can really be creative. These work really fast. If you can hear that sizzling, you hear that? Well, let me let you see the light. And hopefully this cooks evenly. Dash is really pretty good, so I don't even have to hold it down. Sometimes I do like to assist and hold it down just a little bit just a tiny bit you don't have to but this is what I'm doing so we're gonna see where the light is and you want to be careful with little ones because the surface is hot um, if they're probably like 10 11 12 and they're usually have you know they're not accident prone then I think that you can use that with the 10 11 12 year old but anything younger any child any age younger than that i will be very cautious about that because you don't want them to burn themselves because this is a hot surface you can see that steam coming up y'all it is making this waffle and i'm hoping that it comes out perfect okay so even be careful i was holding it down the steam is coming out everywhere okay so that has not come up yet let's get the steam Ooh, ciao <laughs> this one's cooking a little longer than usual which I am really shocked it just went off y'all when I moved away so there we go <gasps> oh my goodness so cute look at the beautiful shape and it's kind of thick I love that <gasps> look at that it's so beautiful mommy come see this oh that's gorgeous okay so we got that one. We're gonna do one more of the um, honeycomb. It's very pretty, mommy. Oh my goodness. Isn't that adorable? So cute, you guys. Isn't it cute? It is just so fun. I love this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead on. This is quite buttery. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put the three tablespoons. So that was like one. Move quickly. To kind of spread it as you're doing it and then three these things move so fast I think it was three and a half we put in there one more a little half okay we're gonna go ahead on and make sure that's spread it evenly and put that down now, can you bring me the paper towel please clean as you go but that's what it looks like so cute I love it yeah wet please I love it I love the that's why I love the dash and the Bella they really do give you the texture that you really want and look at that when you turn it over and the waffles really firm it's very nice okay so we're gonna go ahead and clean as we go we do not want no mess 
and just mix that and put the butter there like that so then I have it all this drip okay. all right so we're waiting for this one you guys it smells so good <laughs> they are so oh, cute let you see when it stops how many do you have I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have a lot of waffle makers. So they are fun, you guys. And the waffle doesn't come out as brown as that one. But it depends on what you put in your mix, too. I do believe that. All right, you all. <laughs> so now we're going to lift it. <gasps> so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to let this one cool completely off. You guys, look at how browning it is on the on the edge. I want you all to see the browning. And these are even perfect if you want to make like some kind of keto. You can do like keto, y'all. They're doing all kinds of little things. So unplug this one. And now we're going to move to the shamrock, okay? So let me get this out of the way because it's hot and I'll show you guys. But this is what we have so far. We have two honeycombs, okay? Next is shamrock. Stay tuned. All right, you guys. Now it's time for the shamrock. Thank you. Add it on oh hold on okay now we have the shamrock let me get this in first mom so the shamrock has deeper crevices I'm noticing that we want to make sure we really get up in there because it's a little deeper you got to get all up in there in the little tail part of the shamrock okay I can't wait to see that I can't wait to see this one I was so excited I said Cute. this thing now you can make it real full all the way around but I want the shape I don't want all of the round part Okay, so now let's get in here. Oh yeah, she's getting hot, baby. She's getting hot, baby. Okay, so we're gonna put that one. Make sure it gets all the way around in the shamrock. We're gonna do another tablespoon. We might not have to do nothing but two for this one. Looks like all we need is two. So all we need is two there. Okay, the shamrock is in, you guys. Aren't you excited about the shamrock? So I did um, a um, Ancestry. I gotta talk about that on another video, you guys. I'm so excited. But on my Ancestry, I'm 34% Nigerian, along with some other beautiful African countries that I'm very excited about. Um, and also, I am, I think, 8% Scottish and 3% Irish. And I think I'm like 7 or 8% um, I think it's Scandinavian or I think it was like English from England okay that area oh my gosh it moved quick okay and then also um, I am 1% Italian which I was like what and I cannot believe this I'm 1% Sri Lankan I cannot believe that too. So, oh my gosh, I, you just never know what your makeup is, child. You never know what your makeup is. But yes, yeah, so I'm one percent Italian. I take that. I love the Italians. They may not all love me, but I love them. <laughs> and um, was just really happy to see that I was 34. Did I say 34 percent Nigerian? I was really excited about that. But the thing about um, the African countries, you're 34 Nigerian, but then it's other parts that go into that Nigerian. Uh, things so I want to find out more about that and more about the other parts of the Af African regions that I'm from so I'm really excited about that but yeah I was really really um, shocked to see the attack I knew Irish was in there Scottish I just did not know that um, I Italian I yes oh my goodness <gasps> look at this I'm so happy she's so happy <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is the cutest thing in the world. Are you serious? Oh, that is. That so is cool. the cutest thing in the <laughs> world. If you don't run out and get that, y'all, I will put the link to each one of these down below, okay? So don't even worry about it, but that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Do you have butter? Yeah. We gotta move quick. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Okay, so we're gonna do another one of the shamrocks. And then we're gonna move on to the next. Okay, so mommy brought, she bought some more melted butter. So it's easier. Okay, so let's hurry up and move. Let me get up in these crevices because we want the little tail to come out perfectly like the first one did. All right, you guys, so, you guys, so let's get started. I'm so excited. This is so cute. It's so adorable. 
Can you imagine? You, one thing I used to love celebrating St. Patty's Day at school, y'all. Loved it. And these are so perfect. And you know what would be the cutest thing? You know what, Mommy? At the end of this, we're gonna use, if you use some green, my, where's my color? Those colors I got. Oh, uh, you guys, I think this one might not be as pretty as the first over one. Over there. Due to this, but that's okay. If you did green coloring in this, oh my gosh, it would be perfect for these to turn out green. I bought some coloring. I don't know where, the, I think it's over there. We can do the green. I will try do doing a green one, first. but let me do the star first. I will do this one. After this one's done, we're going where, to do the where? star. I think it's over there in the corner on top. You'll see it over there in, in the um, Hobby Lobby bag. And we're gonna try to do, we're gonna mix this with green and we're gonna do green, y'all. Too excited about that. Too excited about that. I used to just love my um, St. Patty's Day when I was a little girl. So anyway, this is what the shamrock looks like. Is that not the cutest thing ever? It just, it's so cute. Okay, so this one says it's done. I'm gonna press it down. Sometimes I like to press it down just for a few minutes because it's still hot and it can make it even a little bit more browner if you want it. Just press it down just a few minutes. And look, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <gasps> look at that little shamrock. I, I'm too through. The shamrock is too cute. Okay, so now we're going to move to the star. So we're gonna use a green food coloring. Let's see which one do we wanna use. We're gonna use that green food coloring when we're done. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna try the star now and then we'll come back to the shamrock just to finish up with a green um, waffle. Okay, stay tuned. These are so <laughs> stinking are. cute. I'm just too done, okay? So we got two of those. Okay, so now we're going for the star now. Mommy's hooking that up, and I'm going to get it ready. That's so hot, that heat's coming over here. Yeah, it, they get hot really fast. They get hot. Okay, we're gonna go ahead on and take this butter. Go on and fill this in. Get all in there before Mommy gets started. Just mix that butter all the way around. Because this is gonna, now the star look like it's kind of um, deep too. Deeper than your usual. Now the star said one and a half tablespoons, okay? So we're gonna see. She said for the perfect star, it's one and a half tablespoon. So hopefully, we're gonna see. Okay, so we have one full tablespoon here of the star. We're gonna move it around. And then now we're gonna do a half of the star, okay? We're gonna move that around. Star, come on, come on, star. Work with me, girl. Okay, and I just want to get around these little edges. Is it? Yeah. All right, you guys, we're going down for the star. And if you had some red and white and blue sprinkles, how cute would that be for the 4th of July? Just too adorable to include that. So we're going to do two stars. And then we're gonna see how many more. We're just gonna put one little, I mean a little bit of the um, food coloring. So there we go. I like to clean as we go. There we go. You can even do where you do homemade whipped cream, you guys. You get strawberries and you get blueberries. And even if you want raspberries and you can add it on top of your waffles with a little bit of maple syrup. How delicious would that be, right? This one's sweating a lot. But this one has little sparkles in the blue. I love that. All right, you all. So that is turned off. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so cute, you guys. So we wanna preserve, look at the star. You, If you do these brownies, oh my goodness, look at that star. Look at, look at the star. Um, I'm, I can't. I cannot tell y'all how you need to run out and get these three. I think out of all the ones, you guys, I, I'm believing these three shapes. I am loving these three. I'm, you guys, I accidentally dipped my um my butter uh, thing in the 
in the what you call it. So that is just nothing but mix. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we're gonna go in again with the star. I always say dance around with it to help it get into the crevices. So one and a half, okay? So we're doing a half, one and a half, just like it said. And get in there and dance around. Kind of help it out a little bit. And I say anywhere where you see, you need to kind of fix it up a little bit. Now these will be cute if you did some in red and blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. You did regular and then you did red and then you did blue. These would be amazing. So this will be really, really fun. Mommy, can you give me another wet one? Um, yeah, it would be fun if you did that. Really cute. So you can really be festive and make them fun by even adding a little bit of food coloring. Healthy food coloring. I just bought these the other day. They were on sale. But um, yes, you can add your choice of food coloring just a tiny bit. You can even do the... Um, Honeycomb ones in a pretty yellow if you want it to just to be festive and fun for the kids Okay, you can take those little parts right there if you're worried about that And you can just put the parts that kind of cooked a little longer, but y'all look how cute this star is I can't I can't stand it. He is too cute Too cute. So those are the two stars. So we got star number one Star number two, two shamrocks and two honeycombs. Now we're going to unplug the star. He's going to cool off. He's done for the day. And shamrock is coming back over because we're going to add a little bit of green to him here. And we're going to do a couple of green shamrocks. And y'all, that will be the end of the video for today. So you have to let these cool and stay open and stay away from family members. This is what you have to do. Keep them open and let them completely cool. Be, and no one goes near them because they are hot and they stay that way for a while. So you have to be very, very cautious. This one we finished a long time ago, you guys remember, and it's still hot, not warm. It is still hot. <laughs> okay, so I just wanna, don't plug that up yet, mommy. Let me get the the um, pink, I mean the, uh, and you can even be fun. Maybe you don't want to do a green shamrock. Maybe you want to do a shamrock that is pink, you know? Maybe you want to do that. Um, I don't know how many people you have yelling at you, but maybe you want to do a pink one. <laughs> okay, so where's the green? Here's the green. It only takes a teeny weeny. I mean, do we have a toothpick? Yes, we do. Because if you, that's all we need. <laughs> I remember when that's I first I started doing at. this, y'all, I put a drip in there and I was like, oh my God. My sister was like, no! It was so crazy. So all you need is just go in here. This is the fun part. Go in here, get a little bit, just like so. That's probably even too much. So now we're gonna go in. Look at that. So cute. I might even want a little bit more green. Just a little bit more. Give me another toothpick so I don't do cross contamination. So we got the green. How fun is this, you guys? So much fun. All right, now we're gonna go ahead on and do, let me go on and put this butter before mommy plugged that up completely. So this is nonstick. I believe you can do this without butter, but this also, I like doing it this way because after we're done, we don't have to add butter to it, okay? So let me get this in. I believe it was three tablespoons of thin, this is a thin filling. Okay, you guys, so that was one, this is two, and then I think it was a third, like a half of a, maybe two and a half. We wanna get all those crevices. I think that's gonna be too stinking cute. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about the green shamrocks. If we had enough, I would have done blue stars. But y'all stay tuned for that because for the 4th of July, we will have blue stars, okay? So now we're doing the, so these are our stars, honeybees, and shamrocks. And now we're waiting for this one to be done. And all you gotta do is add a little bit of color to your mix and you are good to go. All right, you all. So there we go. <gasps> So oh stinking cute. How cute is this waffle? Oh my goodness, is that not the cutest waffle you have ever seen? And it is just perfect, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna do one more, and then I think we're gonna be done with this video today. 
I hope you all enjoy this as much as I enjoyed showing you all these fun little family things. I'm all about family and having fun with family and friends. And these are so fun and creative for you to do. My holders, can you tilt this? Because. Take a spoon. Remember, spread it so that as you're putting it in, you got two tablespoons. Spread it as you're putting it in, and then a half, a little half, and just spread it. Okay, you all. Go ahead and press that down a little bit. Lift it up. And that is the last shamrock. I think it is. Can we put one more in there? And look how beautiful this shamrock is. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna put that shamrock there. And see if we can get one more shamrock in here. All right, y'all. So it's just a little bit of dough. So I'm just gonna try to Spread it everywhere because it's just a little bit in here. It's the last bit of the shamrock. But all right, y'all, that is the last bit of this dough. It is all gone. I'm gonna try to spread it in every crevice, corner, nook, and cranny. And that's just a little bit of the last bit of the dough. All right, as y'all can see, it is done. Okay. Wait for this last one. Clean up, clean up, everybody, clean up. And so I will do a video, if you all are interested, let me know if you wanna know how I clean my dash um, makers because what I do, I um, get Q-tips. I get a nice warm glass of water with some soap in it, some dish soap, and I get Q-tips. And I have one that's clear water and one that is um, regular soap and dish soap. And I go in between the crevices that way. It did do it perfectly. All right, so that is my waffles. So there it goes, the finished waffles, you all. How cute are they? How cute are they, you all? So adorable. I just love them. And that is the finished waffles. Okay, and the stars. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Look at those waffles up close. Let's get close. And like I said, these would be perfect with brownie mix, whatever you decide to do. And don't forget the stars. We got to show the little stars. We got honeycomb in there. And it is just perfect. Look at that. Just amazing, amazing, amazing waffles. All right, you all. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed showing you. Don't forget, throw some fruit in here. You can even add fruit to the waffles, but I thought that they would have been too. They're, these are too fat of um, blueberries to do that, but add fruit on top that's what mommy's going to enjoy right now and this remember is the mini dash waffle maker it's the star and then we have here the mini shamrock okay we have the mini shamrock and the star and then we have the mini honeycomb and I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed showing this to you. You all, these are so fun. You can get them. I will put down below the links where you can go and get them. And also, you all, um, check out Bed Bath & Beyond. If you're Bed Bath & Beyond members, you can use your 20% off and get a discount. I am an affiliate with Amazon, but I'm about my viewers getting discounts instead of, instead of paying paying full price okay all of these I did not pay full price for them all right and mommy is ready to eat she's got her little cute glass here y'all look at her cute little glass she ready to eat and her little fruit she and she uh, look y'all she wouldn't did us some eggs <laughs> she ready <laughs> all right you all so thank you so much for tuning into journey with Shar. If this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see please hit that subscribe button and make sure you also hit the notification bell every time i upload a new video it will alert you and you all can come and check me out and take care of one another i pray you have a beautiful week take care of one another love one another and remember be kind kindness takes you far and i tell you it's healing to the body okay remember always trust god keep him first 
and he'll always lead you to the right direction. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bon appetit.